two to shoot. Just gets it off in time, and he banks it in. What a shot from at 17. Double. Duncan free to fight. How about the pass there? Barbosa defending partner. Shot oh, at the no. great move by Tony Parker. Oh, what a terrific. This is Dallas Mavericks ball club. Nash trying to pick up the defense. Oh. Tony Parker left it. Oh. Parker again. Wheeling and dealing and Ginobili. <laughs> Sometimes a pro at 17. <laughs> He's had to be. Parker. After being two of seven for three, Parker right down the lane. And Gill and Zach Randolph collided and We did in game number three. Oh, it seemed like he uh, started like Parker behind. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to crit that neck on her big neck. My nigga selling crit. What's these? It was running back and forth over a big body banger that we doing two video now first things first make sure you like i'm subscribing on the 5k you know what i'm saying today i'm the bill dilla on your local corner and i'm coming at you with this tony parker current gen build video yes sir, this was requested a while back and here it is today i had a good time making this build you know tony parker definitely one of the most underrated and underappreciated point guards in league history at that and i mean a lot of people only remember him for his older days and even in his older days man it was going crazy but if you were around for prime tp you know that man was the real deal but yeah like comment subscribe comment any builds that y'all want and i will eventually get to them i got like a month left you know well three weeks left really technically speaking if we being technical about it you know but that is more than enough time to do what i got to do that's more than enough time to make sure that i got the content covered for y'all so yeah like comment subscribe all that good stuff and without further ado let's get right into the pie chart that i use for this tony Parker, current gen, build video. So as you see here, I went with the pure playmaking pie chart. I don't think any other pie chart would represent Tony Parker better. You know, Mans was an amazing playmaker and on top of that, an amazing finisher. See the beautiful thing about the playmaking pie chart is that driving layup is so high. Now, for the physical profile, I went with the agility pie chart, which is the primarily purple pie chart, as you see right here, because he's going to be a point guard. I want him to be as fast as possible. I want to be like the flash. You know, Tony Parker was very quick, very shifty, very nimble. Mans was making moves before the defender could even see what moves he was making. You know, it was on that type of timing. So that's what I wanted to represent with this build. So as you see right here, I maximized that close shot, that driving layup. You know, I put the driving dunk and post look up just a little bit to get more finishing badges, you know, just so I have enough to you know emulate tony parker's real life finishing then i get those 30 playmaking badges and i max out mid-range and three-point shot as well as my free throw you know to get the shooting badges that i also need and i put a little bit toward defense to get some defensive badges because tony parker was no slouch on defense so you see i maxed out that perimeter defense lateral quickness and steal and added some to the defensive rebound so as you see right here his height is six foot two Tony Parker was 6'2 in real life. So that is what I'm going with on 2K. And you see, I raised the weight all the way up to 199 pounds just to keep that 95 speed. And you see, I'm gonna put the wingspan up just a little bit. You know, I could if I really wanted to max that out, but the shooting would be way too low. I didn't want the shooting to be really that low. So you're gonna see, I end up putting the wingspan one back from 82.1. So it's gonna be 81.2. And yeah, I think this is the ideal wingspan so I don't lose too much shooting but I still have increased finishing and defensive attributes. And you see for the takeover, I have playmaking, finishing, and shot creating, and I go with the playmaking takeover. And look at my shades of, I built a slashing playmaker shades of Isaiah Thomas with an I before the A, Darius Garland and Jamal Murray. That Jamal Murray comparison was kind of strange, I'm not gonna lie, but the other two, okay, they make a little bit of a sense, you know what I mean? But I wish I really could have got that Tony Parker comparison because then my life really would have been complete. So as you see right here, I finished with 56 total badges, so I was doing what I had to do, you know, 
a 56 total badges on a point guard build of any sort is ridiculous in 2k if you know you know so i did what i had to do with that and with this build obviously the teardroppers are going crazy those eight finishing badges went in handy you know this build was definitely very shifty very nimble like tony parker in real life i was blown by my defenders very quickly getting past them to the rim you know layup floater euro just any type of acrobatic layup possible i was making it and then on top of that i attracted so much attention because i was so fast so i was able to kick out to my teammates or make very tough and difficult passes because of my passing accuracy so i had a great time with this build it was definitely a pure point guard type of build and i could see this build being very fun because it's challenging you know obviously it's out of the norm because a lot of players make taller guards and i mean now the meta is to make like a six three six four point guard so even then but still there's still a meta where you're making six five playmaking shot creators who are tall for guards yet still move like six foot you know but this would definitely give a challenge to those types of players now tony park in real life what as i said before he's definitely underrated definitely underappreciated i feel like that whole spurs dynasty kind of just goes unnoticed like they won literally five rings in a span of, like in two decades worth of rings you know and we just let it go by our heads not even two it might be three decades worth because they definitely want to ring in the 90s so like i don't understand how we always underrate tim duncan manu tony we always forget about the but we love talking about the lakers the celtics you know kobe's lakers you know we like we love talking about the teams that already have that publicity but the spurs they're so fundamental so low-key you know they don't care about the cameras and guess what the cameras don't care about them so they have no media attention they have nobody there to record their little press conference well they have people there obviously but nobody's out here making their clips go viral they don't have anybody who's going to be like explosive that attracts attention and it's kind of interesting to me that it's like that because i feel like they the Spurs dynasty in a whole definitely deserves more attention and Tony Parker definitely deserves his respect. He has his respect, but he deserves more respect in my opinion because I don't think he's getting enough. I think he was one of the best point guards we've seen in the game, like pure point guards that we've seen in the game, especially in his prime. But hey, it is what it is. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll roll to 5K, you know what I'm saying? Comment any builds that y'all want before 2K23 and I will eventually get to them. But until then... I'm out. Peace.